Okay, welcome to the first video tutorial when recreating work, a piece of work based on Jeff Coons' balloon dog. Now, one of the aspects we looked at in the appreciation section was the fact that Jeff Coons' sculpture has a reflective surface. And what this does, it enables the audience to become part of the artwork because obviously when they go up and look at it, they can see themselves in the artwork. Now, obviously, it's going to be tough to recreate that sort of effect with just basic paints, but we can make it we can make the paint more shinier in order to be more representative of this reflective finish. Now, so what we do is we mix some acrylic paint with some white glue. So what you, I've just got some yellow acrylic paint here, so get a dab of that, put it down on your just a mixing component, and then you grow about the same amount of uh, white glue and you mix that in. And as you start to mix, you'll see the paint become shinier. It does take a bit of time, but just make sure you give it justice and make sure it is actually shiny by the time it's ready to be applied. So just take it just a bit of time and that's already you can see it shining up and um, obviously when you do this with your students you want to take a bit more time but already that's shiny so I'll just use that just um, to apply it to my foam ball and obviously a number of these foam balls will end up making the finished animal. So with this mixture you just apply it as you would normal paint and you want to cover the whole of the ball leaving no white spots and uh, so the paint um, while I can't see myself obviously in it it is certainly a lot shinier than if I had have used just acrylic paint on its own and obviously just reiterating this is to be more representative of Jeff Koons balloon dog and its reflective nature okay so make sure you Students take their time um, and make sure it's all covered up completely. This one obviously isn't, but the finished product is this. Just a yellow bit of acrylic and um, it is shiny as it is. It's a lot shinier than if it was just acrylic paint. Um, but if we want to make that even more shinier, what we do is once it's dried, just get a dab of white glue and you spread that over the already painted ball just like you would um, normal paint okay and so you do that again cover it fully and leave it to dry and that's tutorial one when we come back we'll look at putting symbols onto our dried paint